Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Showcase on Warframe. Today's episode, the Spectra. The Spectra, the Flux Rifle's little brother. Once upon a time, the Flux Rifle was a good weapon. It was nerfed. The Spectra, however, was never good. So yeah, I won't call it a ter terrible weapon. I'm not going to bash the rail to gate here. But it's going to leave a little bit to be desired. But I'll cover it nonetheless and see what I can do. Alright. So, since it's like the Flux Rifle, it's a constant stream of laser, so it's very accurate in that regard. Accuracy is always 100%, critical chance is a mediocre 5%, time multiplier is times 2, fire rate's 5 per second, and magazine of 80 shot, or 80 battery, I guess. Noise alarming, reload is 2.0, status is actually pretty good at 20%, though. Alright, and it does 3 impact, 21 puncture, and 6 slash. So that means in puncture, despite claiming, is better against synthetic enemies. Yeah. Alright, where do you find this? Well, you gotta go to your dojo, go to your energy lab, and it's there on the third row. Alright, since there's only Master Rank 4, it's a little bit barrier, the entry's pretty low. You'll need about 25,000 credits, 3 Fall Felgeon, 700 Cobalt Circuits, and uh, 5,000 Ferrite, and 1 Forma. Pretty standard. So yeah. So, uh, some, some weapons can go pretty far despite being low Master Rank. This one has many issues. It's not about damage. The damage is certainly there. It is there. It's there are small things that kind of get in the way. As I'll go on shortly in the video here. Now, going a visual over, it's a very strange looking weapon. Now, I don't know, it's battery, it's weird brown little can. I could say it's powered by cola. That would explain and not explain many things about this weapon. <laughs> but yes, powered by cola. Insert brand name here. Anyway, uh, going on from that, it's a very odd shape because it fires a stream of laser, straight laser, but yet the barrel doesn't allude to where it comes from. Very strange. Uh, good question. All right, and the fact that there's, again, this dumb overhanging sight thing that kind of blocks your view, so you can't really use down the scope idea. But oh well, it's a laser. Very odd. Now when you fire the weapon, as I mentioned, it's a stream of laser, but actually, if you go close, you can see it's actually three streams of lasers. Though it's a 2D picture that rotates with our camera. It's a very, very stereotypical, very simple thing to do in terms of game development, or so I've been told. Now, you can see here we can actually travel to the end of the laser. Here's its range. That's not far, you're probably thinking, and you're right. So when you do pull the trigger though, it actually takes a second for it to get there. A split second, as you see here. It's not instantaneous. So that's a small issue, but not a very big one. So yeah. But the issue I do have with it is its range. So yeah. Let's go fire its opponent here. Uh, right there. Nope, can't hit him. Let's get a bit closer. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Oh, we're getting close. We can see the light on him now. And, uh, oh, there we go. We finally got to him. And he's out of range again. So how far is that? Let's just tag where he was. Uh, 17 meters. And what's how far is he? Can see a guy in there. He's at 18 meters. So going the closer. 16. Where's the reload here? 16. And I can't not 16. Oh, it's just inch away. There we go. So at the ass end of 16 meters is the range of this weapon. That is terrible. Oh. Time to go on the ultimate build for this very short range weapon. Alright, for my ultimate build, I dumped way too many form on this, I do not, I regret all of it. But anyway, you can see I got didn't do anything with my critical chance. My fire rate's better, my magazine's 112 now, but my reload time's 4.1. You can probably guess what happened there, but I'll get into that later. And you can see the ribbon disposition is full orbs, full power. Status per second is 51 ball percent there, and... For damage, you see I get pretty much no weight impact of 32. However, I get 916 puncture. Lots there. And only 64 slash. And the element I chose is magnetic, because puncture don't do anything to shields. It isn't very good. <laughs> so instead I chose magnetic with a decent status build. So how I got this, got horn strike, barrel diffusion. That's for base damage. I got bore for puncture. Lethal Torrent increases multi-shot and fire rate. And uh, I also got Magnum Force, which does reduce the accuracy, which you'll see the off what the result of that is. But it increases overall damage. And I got Frostbite for element, cold element, and 
status and plus ice storm for more cold element plus magazine which my bad reload so is to offset that so there's my ribbon you can see i got 100 well 183 puncture almost 404 117 electricity and plus 63 well, percent more damage to infestation so that's all pretty good and then my bag net bad net of fire of negative 51 percent to reload speed now i rolled this thing five times like i said i regret everything on this weapon build <laughs> Regret doing it, not 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 regretting what it is. So yeah, that's that's why my uh, reload time is so bad. Now there are ways to fix that. There are ways, but uh, I'm not going to dock any points for a reload time on this weapon. It's too it's based by two seconds, and that's perfectly fine. It's just with my rhythm mod, it's terrible. Will it be terrible for yours? Probably not. Now what we can do to fix this, we can go over here if we want to, and just go to a quick draw. And there we go, it's back down two seconds. However, I do lose my status and my magnetic damage. So yeah. That could be better. But that's up to the user. But for this review, I want to get the maximum damage out there and see what it's capable of. But now on to the test. Let's grab some Lancers here, some Arid Lancers. And they're going to be the highest level of all of them here, supposedly. But uh, we'll up, jack it up to 100 and... not 95, but 85 will be good enough. Alright, so this is mainly a puncture damage weapon, it should be the best here. Ooh, it's a long reload time indeed. So I'm going to aim only for the face, and it's acceptable. Is that awesome? It's acceptable. So yeah, mind you, that's at closer quarters. If you're paying attention to my laser stream, you can see it's a little, uh, fuzzy. That magnum force really affects that. It doesn't affect the fire rate, it doesn't affect the distance, just affects the spread of laser. You can see it's a little zigzaggy. A little uh, spready. <laughs> but it doesn't matter for since it's under 16 meters you need to use this. It doesn't really affect it too terribly much. You see at this range, I usually have to let my opponent's face, all of their face. <laughs> I don't need a single stream if you only get 16 meters of this thing. So yeah. So again, Sigrunir, hit him only in the face and it does acceptable at level 85. Now let's go against some Corpus. Get some Moas. About, uh, I don't know, 12 of them. 14, yeah, I'll go with 12. And we're going to be playing at the same level, level 85. And here's where the status and magnetic comes in. I should be able to get through the shields pretty quickly. And you see right there, pretty much almost instantly. Almost instantly, thanks to that status. Just cut right through those shields, and then the puncture damage do it against the machinery. So yeah, this works. This definitely works. Just not the reload time I got on it. <laughs> so it's not the worst weapon in the world, but it's just... The range, the range, and the ammo consumption is not that great. If you haven't noticed, I don't exactly have a lot of ammo in, in reserve either. Only about in total around 400 ammo. So that could be better. So since my river mod is so much more powerful against infestation, I'll jack them up to level 150, which level cap is raised. The last time I did a video on Warframe. All right. Now going against the infestation. Eh. I may have overestimated my ribbon capacity to kill infestation. It does acceptable. But hey, that's level 150. And it's acceptable damage. I won't say it's crazy powerful, but it's acceptable. But oh well. That's kind of just the whole general view on this weapon is acceptable. Not really impressing in any way, shape, or form. However, the biggest disappointment, as I've been raving about, is that range. <laughs> but no matter. Let's move on from the station, or I'm mean, here firing at them all day. How does it do against the strongest opponent in the game, or in terms of armor? The Heavy Gunner. Well, as you can see, not a whole lot. With mainly puncture damage, you think it'd do more, but oh well. It's a Heavy Gunner. Let's move on to the actual score. Now, going on to the pros and cons of the Spectra. For pros, it has a good, dis decent DPS. And Haskell also has a good status. And that pretty much does it for pros. <laughs> the cons, let's take the most glaring one out of the way. It's incredibly short range of only 16 meters. That's bad. I mentioned it, but I'll say again, the ammo reserves are not that great, with only 400 ammo in total. With the high DPS, you don't last, ammo doesn't last too terribly long. So yeah. And that's kind of the pros and cons. Mm, nothing too complicated there. Now going on to the score. Damage gives a 7 out of 10. That's pretty much the most normal part of this weapon. It's an average damage. 
Now, I didn't put accuracy, I put range, and I'm going to give that a 3 to 10. There is weapons with worse range and worse accuracy, but this is not exactly great by any means. Design, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. The Fox Rifle made a, lot, made a lot of strides, but the Spectre was designed to be a smaller package no matter what. And I don't think you really need a smaller package than that kind of idea of a weapon, in my opinion. Ammo, 4 out of 10. You do, you, you do get 400 shots, but you can go through them pretty damn quick with the DPS in this weapon. And Miscellaneous, I'm going to also give that 4 out of 10. This weapon, it's not that great. It's a well, lack of range means no good for punch through. The ammo goes through it quick. You gotta put, I had to put 6 form in order to get to like this point. Like, ugh. So in total, I give the Spectra 23 out of 50. It's bad, but just barely they meet that point. All because that range is the main complaint. You can't do punch through, as I mentioned. It's the brain just has a lot of problems. But anyway, let's move on. So in terms of my judgment, it's a little obvious now. It's it's not worth it. No. There's many pistols in the game, and some of them also have something of a laser on them, and they do a much better job than the Spectra. The Spectra is a flux rifle except scaled down. That means all the potential was all the flux rifles also scaled down. <laughs> And that's been showcase for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.